Good morning, dear friends. We're welcoming a new day together in the opportunity of aligning ourselves with God. Where should we pray? Is there a specific place where we should pray and commune with God? Many people think that it's more sacred if we go here, there, or anywhere else. But what does Jesus say? Once talking to the woman of Samaria by the well, as reported in chapter 17 of the book Good News by Humberto de Campos through Chico Xavier, Master Jesus, watching the Samaritan woman with compassion, he exclaimed, you're right. Religious differences have generated much disunion among the members of the great human family. However, the shepherd comes to the sheepfold to gather the sheep that the wolves have scattered. Truly, I say to you that there will come a time that people will not worship God either on this mountain or in the magnificent temple of Jerusalem because the Father is spirit and he should only be worshipped in spirit. That is why I come to open the temple of sincere hearts so that all forms of worship to God become an intimate communion between humans and the Creator. Wow. We love Jesus because Jesus makes everything easier, much simpler. And he's saying to us that when we pray, it's between God and us. It's not about the place where we are in. We're not going to pray better or easier or with external conditions. It's about inner. It's always between God and us. There's no middle person. Jesus comes as a master, as a model, as a guide to facilitate it. But our connection with God doesn't have an intermediary. So today, let us cherish our relationship with God. Let us, every, every time of the day, let us visualize ourselves feeling the presence of God at work, at home, and pray, communicating with God at any given time that we feel like it. And thus, perceive what Jesus said, that we are going to worship God inside of our hearts. That's it. Let us, even if we are at the hospital, as a patient or as a doctor or as a nurse, whether we are in whatever situation it is, the relationship between God and us is unbreakable. Let us then together now cherish this relationship with God right here, right now wherever we are. Shall we, friends? What a joy, dear God, to be able to talk to you as simple as it is. You are always accessible to us. You love us. You admire us, you empower us, you give us life, existence. And sometimes we forget that it's as easy as this to be with you. Today we want to cherish your company more than ever. Worshipping you in our thoughts, feelings, words and actions. We want to visualize your loving providence enveloping all of us at home, enveloping all of us, all of us, 
in two realms. We thank you for blessing us in our homes, at work, everywhere we are. We pray with you for those who discarnated, those who are discarnating today, those who remain. We pray for our neighbors, friends. We pray for the loving care of your soul of our souls because of you. We want to respect your creation, loving ourselves more and loving others as well. We are excited because a day with you, consciously with you, is dramatically different. We will encounter you in every conversation, in every, every movement of our day, and visualize healing baskets being delivered to everyone we encounter in the streets. Thank you so much. Loving God for your protection for guiding us through Jesus, our master, our beloved governor. We in your name and love cares for each one of us. We pray for miracles of love in our lives today and always, and so be it. It's a joy to cherish the company of God. Thank you for being with us here at Kardec Radio in one more morning prayer. We wish you lots of blessings. And until next time.